So you're curious about the Creve Hall area of Nashville, Tennessee. This is a great neighborhood if you're looking between downtown Nashville and Brentwood. You're not ready to completely go all the way out to the suburbs. This is a great in-between neighborhood in my opinion. And in this video, we're gonna go exploring. I'm gonna show you what the houses are going for. We're gonna talk about some of the highlights of the Creve Hall area. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret neighborhood within Creve Hall that you probably have not heard of, not many people know about, but you gotta, you gotta hear about it. It's pretty cool. It all starts right now. Today, I am out at the Ellington Agricultural Center. This is like state-owned park property. There's a lot of governmental offices out here, but I gotta say, this is probably the coolest state-owned facility. This is a massive, a uh, couple hundred acre campus, and there's buildings throughout it. It's got a horse barn. It's got Tennessee History Museum. It's got beekeeping. It's got tons of trails. It's a huge park, so it's open for public access miles and miles and miles of trails. They've got horses here. It's just a, it's a very unique spot. And you've got huge old growth trees out here. Uh, and it's kind of hidden. You wouldn't, it's not obvious because of where it is, but it's a huge asset to the, to the area, to Nashville. And so I'm gonna be out here exploring it a little bit with you to start our day into the Creve Hall neighborhood of Nashville. For today's power up, I am in the little commercial shopping district within Creve Hall. It's kind of hidden. You wouldn't even know it's here and probably unless you're a local, uh, but it's just off the interstate right on Trousdale. This is the core commercial spot if you're in the Creve Hall neighborhood and they have a couple of hidden gems right here. The Creve Hall Bagel Company is my go-to. I would recommend uh, like a salmon bagel. I like the chive cream cheese. Uh, tomato and uh, of course I got to put that on my cinnamon sugar bagel which is cheating a little bit but it just makes it so much better and so it's absolutely great also I love to get the thing I'm on right now is the oatmeal mocha go easy on the mocha syrup but uh, oatmeal latte basically with the chocolate they do a really good one here the oat milk it's kind of sweet, it feels a little healthier, right? But this is a great low-key place to grab breakfast or lunch, bagels, you kind of build your own. It's not expensive. It's just a, a good little find in this neighborhood. If that's not what you're looking for today, you also have the Unique Flavors Cafe. My go-to there for probably a lunch is gonna be like their chicken salad. They, they got really, really good chicken salad there. Uh, and then your other option is Yogi's Pizzeria and ice cream. That might be a good place to go if you're taking the family to the zoo and want to come grab some pizza, indoor, outdoor seating, uh, or ice cream for the kids. Really popular choice as well. Let's keep rolling. All right, so this next one is going to be a, an example of what's the kind of the ceiling, what's the high end of Creep Hall currently, right? So this guy, this modern craftsman, brand new construction, uh, which is kind of rare for Creep Hall. It, you'll see a ton of renovations and you'll see a ton of, you know, 60s, 70s vintage ranch homes. But you, what you won't see a ton of is brand new houses from the ground up. There's, but I think what this is an example of is potentially upcoming trend. You know, once values in a neighborhood can reach a certain point, they can sustain tearing homes down and rebuilding the new one in its place. We're seeing this all across Nashville. Creep Hall, it is just starting to happen. And so what you've got here is a house that sold for 1.5 and 4,200 square feet. You're like right at that 350 a square foot territory, but it's a brand new luxury home, quartz countertops, high ceilings, all the luxury finishes that you would want in a brand new house in Nashville. And the crazy thing is if you go two, three miles away uh, to the west, same house is gonna be you know, five, six, seven hundred grand more. So for the right person, you know, something like this may be, be a value. Watch for this trend. Uh, again, most of the homes in Creep Hall right now, you're gonna see that six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar mark. There's gonna be, that's the majority, right? Uh, existing homes, some renovations potentially on them. Um, but when you see people starting to do this and, you know, maybe you take a house like this next to it, 
and you scrape it because you got it, you got somebody else who did it first, it kind of mitigates the risk a little bit. I would expect this trend to continue. Uh, and the reason is the location of Creep Hall is so good uh, to get, you know, mature trees, you know, roughly half acre lots or more. This is hard to find uh, at this in this price range that Creep Hall delivers in. You go again, you're on the east side of I-65. This is where a value is. If you go west of 65, it, 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 you know, it goes way higher. It costs a lot more to get into a house. Uh, so for that reason, a lot of people like this Creep Hall neighborhood. It's beautiful, big lots, you know, pretty homes, lots of cool renovated ranches like this guy right here. So people really come here and they care. Um, and this, this also is gonna be in the south part of, of Creep Hall, which is gonna be your more premium area. Your zoned, your, your school zones uh, are zoned for higher rated schools. As you get south, you got Creep Hall Elementary. Uh, you're gonna have the highest rated schools in the southern part. It's gonna bring you those premium values. And this one's a nice one. Really nicely redone ranch. That's a big trend in Creep Hall. Uh, and again, I love Creep Hall because you're easy access to the interstate, you're easy access to Brentwood, you've got the zoo on the northern edge of Creep Hall, uh, so you have some cool things going. It's just a really convenient spot. All right, on to the next. All right, to give you kind of a quintessential Creep Hall, you're going to have brick, 1960s. I don't know if the camera really shows this well, but there are massive trees in Creep Hall. It's one of the hallmarks of this neighborhood. It managed feels so good lots of shade and you'll see people that take their the ranch homes and for instance like paint the brick maybe paint the door give it some cute colors uh, and what I've seen is that a lot of our clients that we've sold in Creep Hall are they tend to be kind of a younger family it can be anybody but I think once people have tried the you know in town city uh, or they've gotten priced out depending on where they are or they start having kids they start to look towards the suburbs more. Um, and this is a suburb, but it's like the closest one, I would say, to Nashville. So you don't feel like you're totally turning your cool car, throwing in cool towel. I don't know. It still is close enough to everything where you can really get quickly to downtown, depending on traffic, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on traffic. All right, so this house here is a good example. This sold for 675, 1,700 square feet. Three bedroom, two bath, brick, you know, and all these homes, because of when they were built, you're gonna see hardwood floors in almost all of them. You're gonna see a lot of uh, eight foot ceilings on a lot of them because they're ranch style, some nine. You're gonna see big yards. If you like a big deck area in the backyard, if you like lots of greenery, you're gonna have that. And you're gonna get a bigger yard than you're gonna get in most neighborhoods that are really subdivisions in Nashville at least. We had a buyer in Creep Hall recently that was so excited to get a yard and to have a place that he could mow that I had to take a video of him on his closing day on his new mower. He was so excited. For some of the neighborhood, depending on where you are, you get one of the highest rated public elementary schools in Davidson County. So for that reason, I see a lot of people, hey, I'm gonna slide in here and have a public school option, which again, is a value to, to a young family. And then people live here, they're like, where do I go from here? Ah. Yeah, that's where it gets interesting uh, because this has become a very nice place to, to live and stay. It's super convenient. You do have train tracks. I don't know if you can hear that. There's train tracks along the western side of Creep Hall, right along the interstate. So, but there's still some great streets right along the, inter right along the interstate as well. Um, but you got those train tracks. And so, I've just, always, I've just always been a fan of Creep Hall. I really like selling homes in here. They feel like a really solid investment. I think it's only going up in value. It's a cheaper alternative to anywhere in Green Hills. Man, you hear those uh, locusts or whatever they are, the, the noise, they're pretty loud here in Nashville. Uh, and I tell you what, this tree's gotta be over hundred years old. This thing is so huge. So anyway, that's Creep Hall. That's a lot about Creep Hall. There's still a lot more to talk about. So if you made it to this part of the video, you are in for a treat. This neighborhood is a neighborhood within a neighborhood and it's called Aberdeen Woods. 
and it is going to be um, a community that has a different era of construction. The homes are newer than the rest of Creve Hall, and you will notice the lots are smaller, but you're getting garages on every single house, and it's a sidewalk community, underground utilities, and the coolest part, my favorite part, is that you have a neighborhood pool uh, within the community. So if you want to meet people, if you want your kids to have a place to get acclimated to the new the new city if you're moving here or um or just want to make friends then this is kind of a hidden neighborhood because it's not on a main road it's literally buried in creve hall and you could go you could live in nashville chances are if you lived in nashville you probably don't even know about this neighborhood because it's just not obvious um but i think it's a killer place you know these are gonna be two-story homes there's a little cemetery there that's kind of interesting really old this is probably an old farm area so this is actually the original farmhouse for this whole property and you can see it looks like it's from a different a different time and place uh, and so this was all one big farm and it eventually was developed into a subdivision which is the way subdivisions work right that's how it pretty much all starts. But they maintain this historic structure. That's pretty cool. Bring a little history into the neighborhood. So again, Aberdeen Woods, it's not gonna get you the large three quarter, one acre style lot, but it's gonna give you a higher, maybe in some ways a higher sense of community, easier to meet your neighbors when you have sidewalks and when you're not so spread out is what I found. So if you like the idea of meeting neighbors and people, and not everybody does, but that's okay. Um, but if you like that idea, then this is a really cool little neighborhood. You'll see here's a little community pool, a little pavilion. Great spot to meet up. Again, Aberdeen Woods. So a neighborhood within a neighborhood, very much a contrast to the rest of Creve Hall. Uh, you would still say you live in Creve Hall because it kind of still is. It's within Creve Hall, right? Um, so to give you an idea of price range, this house sold for 790,000, 2,800 square feet, two car garage, brick homes, built in the year 2000. That's, let's see, that's 289 a square foot, renovated home. This neighbor is gonna be mostly uh, 800s plus or minus depending on you know time of year and there's not a ton of turnover in Aberdeen Woods because I think people it's a secret people uh, come here and they they start raising their kids um, you've got desirable schools you know check your schools on on all the websites but people come here and they love it it's a, it's a well done community you got trees you got trees how cool is that every neighborhood has trees right but this neighborhood's been here since the year 2000, roughly, plus or minus. So you have enough time to, to feel a mature area. The gro mature growth, green grass out here. It is a little balmy. It's a Tennessee summertime. It's a little balmy. But this is a spot that you, you know, if that's your price range, this is a pretty cool spot to get newer construction. Some of these Creve Hall homes, are, some of them can be older. And some of them need a ton of renovation. I guess in, if I'm being honest, in some cases, a 2000, year 2000 house is 20 something years old. So it may need some renovation, but in general, they have a nice look to them. It's a nice, nice community. Good spot to know about. On to the next. Okay, so if you're trying to spend less than six or 700 grand and be in this kind of creep hall area, Pro tip for you, there's an area that is just north of creep hall. It's still considered creep hall by most people but there's all, it's also called Caldwell Hall or Abbey Hall. And it basically looks very similar to Creep Hall. You know, you're gonna have your mid-century homes, brick ranchers, that's what it, it all is. It all is very similar to Creep Hall. You do lose your highly rate, your most highly rated school zone as you go north and the home values decrease as well. But it's probably the best spot to find a house for like 500, in the four, something in the 400s is even attainable, you know. You know. So. You, as you go north, just remember, as you go north, you, your values get a little cheaper. It's easier to get in, it's cheaper to get in. Got a good example here of a house. This is actually 
a $485,000 house. This is fully renovated. Super cute, you know, renovated kitchen, renovated floors, bathrooms, everything on this has been done. Now it's only about 1,300 square feet. So it's gonna be right at $375 a square foot. But this is a good example of probably the floor to get in this area for a fully renovated house. And this is cozy, it's only two bedroom. So it's cozy. Some of these things are a little smaller, 13, 1400 feet. There's a lot of those 1400 footers all through here. But this one's fully renovated, which is kind of hard to find under that 500 price point. Uh, you may be able to find something closer to that 400 high threes mark, maybe not renovated. So something like this is interesting. Don't forget, we're real estate agents. We can help you buy or sell. And we sold a ton of homes in the Creve Hall area over the years. So we know this area really well. Happy to, happy to answer any questions you have about it. And don't forget to subscribe. If you're getting any value out of this or if you find our information interesting at all, don't forget to subscribe, tap the bell, follow along with us. Uh, now, I will say this. Also, if you're in Creve Hall, what else do people do here? Well, the Nashville Zoo is literally across the street. It's a pretty awesome zoo. Back when my kids were a little younger, we used to go a lot. I used to love the meerkats, They'd pop their head up, neat little animals. Uh, but they've got elephants they've got all kinds of awesome animals so it's a huge popular choice in the summertime for nashvillians for things to do so it's right here it's actually you have to go around the block to get there but there's not access on this side but it's literally right there so pretty cool to check that out with that we hope to show you around town soon thanks for watching Thank you.